and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about e-bike law enforced, or enforced laws on e-bikes. And now don't get me wrong, I like the way things are right now. I mean, there could be improvements. I wish, that, you know, for example, that they would make speed limit our e-bike limit um, class three across the board and bump it up a few more miles per hour but um, but I want to talk today about specifically the laws that are supposed to be in place and whether they're enforced or, or not because honestly I don't know of anybody that's gotten pulled over or anything at least anybody that I know of around here and I don't know I suppose unless you're riding recklessly I don't think they bother you so uh, law enforcement that is and if that's the case then Why do we have class two and class three laws? Why not just make it, make the bikes up to class four and, and whatever you choose to ride speed wise. I'm, I'm talking speed because when you bring up the e-bike the e laws, everything gets like most people anyway will say speed is the number one thing they always bring up. Not the power of the motor, not anything else. It's how fast will the bike go? And they're more fixed, basically, on or fixated on the speed thing as to how fast the bike will go. Not how fast you're riding it, but how fast it actually will go. So if you've got a bike, though, that goes 50 miles per hour, oh, that's a cool four-wheeler right there if you got a bike though that goes 50 miles per hour but you're only riding at 28 and you're in a class 3 market that's that's okay in my world just because a car like, we'll use car as an example. A car can go in excess, a lot of cars anyway, not all of them, but in excess of 100 miles per hour. Well, there's no freeway or anything that I know of that you can ride or drive that fast. So why is the car capable of going that fast when you, you can't legally ride that fast? Well, shouldn't that be the same thing with the bike? You know, why can't the bike go faster even though you're not riding it that fast? I just like the, I don't know, I just like, I like having the, for me, the speed there in case I want to go faster and I'm in an area, for example, on the road where there's no bike lane and, you know, and the traffic is, 35 mile per hour speed limit well I have two choices right either to ride on the side uh, and create my own bike lane or just ride with the traffic if my bike is capable of keeping up the traffic I feel more comfortable riding with the traffic because I think cars passing you is more dangerous than you riding with the traffic assuming your bike is capable if your bike's not capable can't get those kind of speeds then i think you should well you either ride on the side or you don't ride on that road but we we don't want to get limited into only being able to ride on very few roads because a lot of times depending on where you live and we i spoke about this on previous videos a lot of people just 
don't even have bike lanes to, to ride on, so they have to ride on roads that have none, and you either ride on the shoulder or you ride with traffic. But if you do ride with traffic, or if you have before, and you've gotten pulled over for it, let me know uh, in the comments, because I, I don't know anybody that's gotten pulled over before. Unless you're riding recklessly, But if your bike is built well and can handle it, and is capable of going uh, up, I'd say up to 35. Uh, if it gets beyond that, that does get a little bit on the on the fast side. But uh, 35, maybe even 40. I don't know. Some some roads are 40, up to 45, and then you start getting into highway uh, 50 plus miles per hour. But I don't know, what do you think of, uh, of this topic, uh, enforced laws? Because really, if they're not enforcing the law, then why do we have such a thing as class two, class three? Etc. Class four. Anyway, it's just something I see people uh, commenting often, and that's the number one thing that comes up all the time. So. But if you got a comment, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And uh, I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts on this, or maybe you've actually had an encounter where you did get pulled over, like I say, let us know, because I'd like to hear the story behind it. What, what happened, where you were too, that's another thing. What state were you in? Or maybe it wasn't even in the U.S., but I'm specifically talking about U.S. because that's where I am. that's going to do it for this video on the channel i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did go ahead and hit the like button and if you want to subscribe to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button thank you very much for doing that also if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you will get a notification And that's going to do it for this video, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.